Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we have ourselves two brand new, in a two pack, modern looking outdoor front porch, back porch lamps, lights, lanterns, whatever you wanna call them. These are rated IP23, waterproofing. And just like all my videos, while we're getting this out in the description box right below the video, top link will be this exact same link that you guys can read more about it. Pick a box up yourself. If you have more lights around your house, you might wanna pick up a couple of two packs. Each light is 5.75 inches wide by 13.5 seven inches tall by 6.5 inches in depth diameter. They're anti-rust suitable for wet locations. They are aluminum and these are in a modern farmhouse black, kind of a matte color to them. So let's go ahead and get these out. We'll take a closer look at them. I'm going to be installing one in the back porch and one on the front porch. We do have a little bit of instructions here. So go ahead and give that a read. I'll show you some uh, main tips for installing these. Obviously, first and foremost, what you do want to be careful of is obviously be careful getting them out with that tape because you do have the glass right there. But when installing these, you do want to be careful, obviously, because we do need to cut the breaker while we wire these up. They do come very nicely packaged as well, including a big sheet of styrofoam on the interior portion here. The current two that I have outside, actually the glass, when I was storing them to install them, broke. And these are more modern than the ones I have right now, which I got free at a garage sale. And you have your electrical mounting and hardware there as well. So they do not come with bulbs. I highly recommend getting some nice LED Edison bulbs. And let's get a better shot here. So here are your hardware covers, which there is all your screw-in information, your ground, your hot, and your neutral lines right there. So from this side, when everything's batted down really nicely, it's a very clean look, as you can see there. Coming down, beautiful glass, open right here, of course. And then again, I would put a really nice Edison bulb, which I do already have. And I'll try to link that in the description box below. Just like the box shows, you want something like this, make it look very sharp. And again, you have your electrical wire nuts here, but I'm gonna show you a tip on how to install this using electrical tape and these wire nuts as well, how professional electricians wire up. Let's go install them. Then determine what breaker goes to whatever connection you're mounting this to. Cut the breaker, I've done that here. It is now off. Double check when you go outside and remove your wiring with a voltage tester to double check always. Be safe. And then go ahead and remove your old one here. I got two bolts, screws, holding it in on the back plate here. Carefully removing that, disconnecting the wires that it's grounded to, your ground, your black, and your neutral. Okay, if you do have a helper, that's gonna make things a little bit easier. I had to be on a ladder holding it with one hand while I wired it up. Was able to do it, but let's check out what I did here. So I put the wire nuts on, I grounded it with the ground screw, and twisted the wire nut caps on, and then I electrical taped the wire nuts and the wires together. The reason you do that is because you're pushing in on the wires behind the bracket. This ground one is in front, that's okay. There's a little bit of wiggle room here where it mounts into the area here. Then make sure nothing's wiggly waggly behind here and slip in your back bolts. Now obviously before I did wire it, I put on my nuts on the interior portion right there. And now we're gonna set this into place. All right, it's getting dark now, so it's perfect time to show you the light. Let me show you what I did. Now on the back plate, there's gonna be some small little nuts. I actually removed that from the back plate, slipped it on, added a washer to it, which it does not come with, and then put this bolt back on, tighten it down on each side, as we can see here and here. And then I'm gonna put on my little plastic washer with my little nut cap right here. If you really wanted to, if this is not something that you like, you can spray paint those to match it. But now it's giving a nice, secure flat line down on top of my junction box and i probably will eventually i will be painting this house but i think i will be putting a white bead of white caulk around to waterproof so no water gets on the interior portion of that but that is for a later time so let's go ahead and put on my hardware get my edison bulb and see what this thing looks like all right when you double checked your work and everything is secure in place then go ahead and click back on your breaker all right right off the bat this is a very nice bulb i am going to try 
try a different Edison type bulb. They're both LED Edison. This one is an amber glow to it. So I wanna see if this one is a little bit better. This is what I have over on my shop and the side of my house. And if I wanna blend the light in beautifully, I might be using this one, but this one is a little bit brighter because it is a higher wattage and it's a clear lens. Let's go ahead and see which one looks better. Kind of hard to tell on camera, but I kind of like that one a little bit better. It's more of a droopier type of Edison LED bulb. This one's kind of just your typical look like this. I'm gonna back it up, compare it, maybe try one out for one night, second one out for another night, be back with you. I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it matches the other bulbs on my house, which give it a really nice glow to it. Again, hard to tell on camera here, but it's giving a nice warm glow. The other one was a little bit more wider and I kind of like the warmer look myself. We'll get some better shots in the daytime to wrap this up and I still have to do the back porch as well but looks absolutely stunning and a big upgrade from the older style ones we had up there. Well, I still need to put on the back one and make a long story short, it is currently 14 degrees outside right now with a little bit of snow. And so I'm a little bit too cold to put on the back one right now. So I wanted to wrap this up. Make sure you get an Edison bulb like this. Again, I'll try to link this one in the description box below. Has a little bit of an amber tint to it and I think it looks so sharp in the lamp. Again, I cannot see this right here but if that did perturb you go ahead and give a couple little spritzes of spray paint obviously before you do put it on i'm very glad that i mounted it with that bolt in the back right here to press it flat up against the wall it just wasn't getting a good seal until i did that so definitely recommend doing that as well overall highly recommended even with the snow, obviously a little bit right here on the edge, but that's the outside edge. Snowed last night pretty decent. As we can see, I did blow off my front sofa here, but look at this little tree here. As you can see, that much snow. No snow got inside, which is really nice. A little bit up in the edges like we've already seen. A little bit on top, but very, very nice glass. Beautiful color. And again, with that Edison bulb, it pops really, really nicely. And also, last night I was doing some stuff way out there by the trash can, looking back at the house, and the whole porch was lit up just beautifully. Definitely does a great job. I'm definitely glad that I upgraded those. From the old antique style, this definitely looks more modern farmhouse. And here's a shot of what the light looks like with it turned on, again, LED Edison bulb, very beautiful in this front porch light. Definitely a thumbs up in my book. In the description box, once again, right below the video will be these exact same porch lights where you guys can read more about them, pick them up yourself. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on the way out, helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like DIY house projects like this, van life builds, tech reviews, and also stay tuned because I do have a bathroom vanity by the same company I'm reviewing next so make sure you're subscribed for that i'm doing a whole house remodel i got puppy videos on there you'll love it okay it is freezing i'm going back inside enjoy your day don't let the party stop guys hit one of these videos continue to watch and we'll see you soon